One of the most common questions I get is, I'm lost, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm in, I'm in my 20s, I'm in my 30s, I feel like I'm like losing time. Um, I feel like I'm wasting time. I feel like if I make this decision, I'm gonna go down the wrong path and what's gonna happen? You need to really embody, and this is one of my core beliefs and what I intertwine with everything that we do, is literally you gotta embody the fact that it's scattering yourself and it's being in an explorative state, actually exploring so many different roads anything that fuels your curiosity is actually going to fuel you and, and propel you forward to whatever inevitable idea and whatever thing that you actually cling on to and bite down on and actually immerse yourself in and create that around. It's essentially going to be gold. So that explorative state that you're in is actually a rare commodity and you really need to embody that. Look, life is short. Like, I don't know how else to say this. Like every day that goes by, it's so easy because we're literally in a finite kind of um, existence that would, although it feels like it's infinite, we're literally going day to day, week to week. And it literally just feels like, oh, we're in 2022 right now. And we got, you know, we're in March. Oh, I can't believe it's already March. But really in the grand scheme of things, how many of us actually put in that work and work out if we were to get to 77 or we get to 85, or even if we're going to get to 40, we don't know what the hourglass shows. We don't know what sand is got left in that hourglass. We don't know what's remaining. And that's infinitely scary but at the same time motivating in its own right and as soon as you have lose that conscious awareness of the f um, of how much time is actually left and the fact that you've f forgotten that you are in f in fact only on <laughs> in this body for a certain amount of period of time you need to really embody that and it doesn't come with it this anxiety it's a sense of urgency to serve and that's what I kind of really hone in on that urgency to serve who are you serving? And if you're not sure who to serve, if anything, do something that was actually going to give your younger self, like your protégés that are out there that are actually going through a similar life path as you, going through all those similar childhood um, things, you, your similar sort of parents, that type of upbringing. What did you solve on your own? What did you figure out? What could you, if you were to rewind back time and that younger self, what would you pay money for? What would you be like, if only I knew that earlier, holy, you know, what is that? What what was that? And really give yourself clues. If anything, just to pass on to future generations, whether it's blood related or not blood related, people you, uh, you know, uh, meet in the streets or people that you um, cross paths with that have a similar problem in your past. You're like, look, I've written a whole PDF about this. I've got a whole blog post about it. I've got a video on that. This is something I wish I knew earlier. Pour your passion into that. And in turn, you're going to be serving a younger self. And that's the very minimum. So if you feel lost, just evaluate. I don't care what age you are. Look back. Where have you grown? What have you improved upon? And hone in on that. And in doing so, you're going to uncover facets. You're going to uncover more. Your, your synapses will fire and wire differently because you're now in service. And it's a selfish service because you're actually going, oh, well, this is for me. Well, that's all there is. If you just focus on one person, even if it's you, you're actually helping other people who are similar to you. And in, in doing so, you're magnetizing a tribe towards you. So that's my advice. If you're feeling lost and you're feeling like you're losing time, you're feeling like you're wasting time, life is short. And look, I've got on, on our website, we've got something that actually just a free calculator to work out your life trajectory and what your projected life expectancy is. And morbid as it sounds, it's so true. It's real. You know, we've only got a certain amount of years, certain amount of days, certain amount of weeks, certain amount of months, and so on and so forth. We don't know. No, tomorrow's not guaranteed. Even this afternoon, later tonight's not guaranteed. Look, I've lost um, my father at a really young age and it still feels like it's last year or a few months ago. It was really 10 plus years ago. And it's one of those things that really just stays with you. Like on my desk, I still keep the memorial book um, to really remind myself of, whoa, there's really time that passed that, that, that fast? Like, is he really gone? Like, what were the things that I learned from him? You know what I mean? So it really comes down to how in, embodying that the how finite this existence is and really look at where you can actually serve the world and if at the bare minimum how can you help your younger self who's out there that's actually going to be magnetized towards that content you're going to create and put that out there if you feel lost don't waste time journal write vlog whatever you need to do 
serve your younger self.